Media Maker here. And this week's experiment is, uh, I seem to have one every week, but uh, this week's experiment is a totally transparent, except for the netty cap, I can't find a transparent netty cap, um, hydroponic system. And it's just basically bubble ponics, deep water culture, whatever you call it. It's uh, a plant, some rocks, a netty cap with little holes in it so the roots can grow through, nutrient solution, uh, air stone, hose, pump, that's it, uh, and a timer. And uh, of course lights, which aren't here right now. But uh, so my experiment came from an idea of from my previous two liter experiments, and I know I'm stuck on two liters, but uh, yeah, might as well get out of what I can, and it's recycled. But uh, the green two liter before, I had the water up too high. I'm still learning, but I had the water up too high. The but you can see the water bu bubbling up through the top section of the hydroponic system. And roots actually started growing up where the water was, so that was another indicator I was doing something wrong. The plant thrived, everything was good. So I thought, you know, hey, I'm not getting algae in here. And they say if light hits it, bright light, which I had under 8,000 lumens, wasn't developing algae. So when I pulled it out and looked at it, no algae, bright white roots, hey, we were good to go. So I thought, hey, why can't you just show the roots through it and take the label off and just let it bubble and put it under light and see what happens. And uh, but they always say you can't see light, you can't have light hitting the roots, you can't have light hitting anything, it's going to darken the roots, it's going to do all mean nasty things. But um, I'm going to give it a try, see what happens. If that's the case, maybe you know down the road they'll come out with uh, five gallon buckets that are clear like this with green. Who knows? Uh, it would be kind of cool if I could find a green little LED that was submersible and put it under there and bubble it. <coughs> just for fun, just for a fact. But uh, now I'm going to try it. I've got a little um, tiny start of lettuce in here. And if it makes it through the pea gravel, which is something else I'm trying, pea gravel instead of hydrogen, if it makes it through there and starts developing roots, you know, uh, it should be good to go. So we'll see if it can poke through there. And um, I'll give updates to fan base interest. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This little section is going to be about lights at the Big Box Home Improvement Store. The one starts with L. They have these little gadgets. And it's an Edison bulb socket, your standard light socket, with basically what's on the end of an extension cord. And you can plug this directly into an outlet. Screw a bulb in, plug it into an outlet, instant light. So... I'd seen these at the home improvement store and really didn't think too much about it until uh, I believe it was Slee Stacks that had used these and basically you can take it and plug it into a power strip and you got 1200 lumens, uh, 100 watt equivalent light bulb, 27 watts actual I believe and stick a couple in, you got to give it a little bit of separation and you got over 4,000 or over uh, 2,000 lumens of light, uh, sunshine, daylight, whatever they want to call it. So that to eh, give you a few really like me, I tend to grow more plants than I have lights for. So, um, overzealous, whatever. So, I saw this at the local electronics store and it's got 12 positions. And they sell them in two flavors. One's got 12 positions, one's got six, where the ones in the middle are omitted. Same length, four foot. And you could actually put six of these bulbs and space them out so they're not right next to each other, so they don't fry each other, get each other overly hot and die early. And you could have 7,200 lumens. Double that, put another one on the other side on a four foot shelf, and you're looking at uh, 14,400 lumens, which is quite a bit of lumens. Uh, my two foot, four bulb, T5, high output light puts out 8,000 lumens, if that gives you any idea. And I've been growing all my stuff in my little grow tent with that. So that's quite a bit of light. So uh, that's uh, basically my quick tip, lights, whatever, quick tip of the week. 
Um, they get you by until you get real lights that hang down, maybe make some practices, reflector lights, something like that. And by the way, stay tuned. At the end of the video, I'm going to link to one of the people that subscribed to me, and I subscribe to them. And if you stick around, please do. And please subscribe to me before you hit the link. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, stay tuned for my next section on this video. Thank you.